Hi guys, welcome to another video and if you've just started your journey on making money online through Fiverr, this video is for you. I want to show you how to design an attention grabbing image that will capture your client's eyes and make them click on your gig image. Hi, Kevin here. I make content on making money online, computer tech tips, and freelancing. If you are new here and this is what you are looking for, consider subscribing so that you do not miss when I upload a new video. Okay, let's go to canva.com. As you can see, we are at the dashboard. You can sign in with your Google account. You can sign in with your Facebook account. And you can sign in with your email. Most of the time, I prefer signing up with an email. Okay, so go and sign up and let's meet at the dashboard. When you sign in, and this will be your canvas. As you can see, create design. You can create a lot of design. We have Facebook, poster, logo, video, presentation. So anything that you want to create for social media, you can find it on Canva. I've been using Canva since I started online freelancing and you can see these are some of my designs so I'm not new with Canva and that's why I want to share with you what I've been doing. When you're here you need to know what is the size of your gig image. So you go to create design and you say custom dimension. The width for the Fiverr gig is 550 and we have a height of 370, okay, which is pixels. You say create. If you do not know or if you do not remember, all you need to do is go on Google and search Fiverr gig image size. Okay, and it's going to give you, as you can see, 550 by 370. That's what you need to design your fiber gig image. So let's go back. We have our empty canvas here. Now, there are two approaches that you can use. Uh, one is using an image for your gig. And the other one is just designing something from scratch. Most people normally use images. You can also use the same. What I normally do is I normally research on Fiverr to know what other people are doing. Since I'm creating an image for my photo slideshow gig, I saw that it's good I show you how. If you want to use an image, what you need to do is go to the copyright free websites like Pixabay like pixabay.com and you can search any image that you want for example you are an article writer you can search for article writing as you can see there are images here that you can use what you need to do is select the one that you want for example let me see you just find an image that represents what you are offer, offering. Maybe it can be this, or this, or this. This can be a good image. You see? And then what you need to do is click here on free download. Now you can select 640 by 554 because it's the same as the one in our canvas which is 550 by 370 it's just near that so what you need to do is download okay you can donate if you want to but if you do not want it's okay then you have your image here you can pick your image and take it to canva.com
okay and drop it there so the image will upload as you can see here the image is uploading and it's already uploaded so you can enlarge the image depending on how you want and you can see your image fits just right okay as you can see the image fits well so if you have such an image you can see it has the word writing so a client is attracted to this image if you want to add any text to the image what you need to do is you go to the text okay and i normally advise that you use the heading or if you want to use a combination of fonts you can come down here and choose you can see they are free so there are some which are paid and some which are free so just come here and choose a font that you feel is a good font for you to use for example like this i think i love this font you can come and just pick it you can see it comes here so what you need to do to edit you can just remove what you do not need just delete what you do not need so we can put the word here article okay then you click outside then you can move it and maybe even align it here then you can leave it like that as you can see you're matching the text with what was already there and to me this is a good design that you can you can use when you are done doing your design like this you can you can decide to download okay so you download this you download it as a png okay when you download as a png you say download and your image is going to download down here which is here you can see your image is already downloaded and you can go and upload it to your fiverr gig so what you need to do when you are on canva.com is to find a design that fits well for you okay let me show you maybe you just wanted to to do something a bit different for example you can create a new design so we go to home create design custom design which is 550 by 370 you can use uh, elements which are symbols that you can use in your in your design you may come and choose what maybe a square square rectangle and, or any other symbol i'll use a square and put it there then i can do like that 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 so you can decide to change the color of the square so you can come here maybe you want purple you can see the square changes to purple and uh, you can also use another square you come and do something like this then come to text you can add a heading 
and we put article writing. You can also increase the size if you want to. You can change the color of the box maybe to black. You can see it's becoming attractive. So you can use shapes to your advantage. You have article writing. You can add 24 hours delivery so meaning you can create another shape from the one you had elements shape and you bring it there do do the same something like that change the color to black come back to text add the heading say 24 hours delivery Okay, something like that. Bring it there. You can also use the arrows to resize. If you don't see it fitting on your on your on your rectangle, you just adjust it like that. Okay. You see, you are designing something good 24 hours delivery maybe you can add something like you can also copy a rectangle and you can paste it there you see and you have another rectangle instead of going to the going to the element section to, to create you can also copy an element and paste it there and you can add something else like CEO optimized and you have this here as your advantages so you can this is how you can use Canva create you can either use an image or you can use just the elements and text in Canva to create your images. Okay. There are ways that you can also, for example, maybe you, you don't want this element to be too dark. You may come here at transparency and reduce the transfer parts. As you can see, the image changes. We are at 60. You can do the same with this one come here and put it to 60 for uniformity you can see the title and the two other elements are a bit different you're di differentiating the items in your gig thus the clients can easily know what you're offering as your service so guys you can play around with canva and know what you can create you need to be creative when you are designing your images okay so let's go back to maybe photos as you can see we have some photos here which are free that you can use even in your images i want to try something for example i wanted to use let's say this photo i wanted to use it here in my design what i can do is I can stretch the photo the way I want to stretch it stretch it stretch it then come to transparency then reduce the transparency of the photo then come here as you can see uh, yes I want to remove the color as you can see you can also use a photo and you can reduce the transparency of the photo so that you can make sure that what you're offering stands out to the client i've used 
an opacity to the image i can go back to my opacity for the delivery and increase it a bit put it at 90 same with this go here as you can see we are having a different design by just changing an image opacity so guys when you're done with your design you can download it and you can see we can even go back to what we had let me see if i can still retrieve you can see we still have our previous design you can also download the same design for you to see so here i'm having two images this design and i'm also having the other design and this design so 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 we're having these two designs which are still unique on their own way whenever you have your design what you need to do is go to fiverr and upload go to fiverr go to your gigs go to the gig that you are creating before for me i was creating a photo slideshow video so i'm using it as an example to show you what you need to do is select it then go here edit then save and continue because we were done with these steps we need to go to the gallery the gallery section so that you can upload so on your gallery section in your gig here is where you upload your photos so what you need to do is just browse go to your downloads and you have your photo then you upload that is the first photo you can upload to a maximum of three photos if you want to okay let's find the third the third one i think is this one if i'm not wrong yes you can see you have all your three designs at once that you can use as your examples okay guys the other thing that i forgot to show you is you need to optimize your images before you upload them on Fiverr. and how do you do this you just go to the downloaded images as you can see i saved i saved the images as at core writing this should be your keyword okay as you remember for me my keyword was photo slideshow so i should make sure that i save my image as photo photo slideshow you make sure you save your image with your best keyword when you do this it enables your gig to rank it's more of an off page optimization for your for your image the same thing you need to do with your video okay guys so whenever you upload your images you can always save and continue for me i'm not going to save and continue because these are not images for my photo slideshow gig image i was just using this example so that you can know how you can use canva to design your designs okay so guys you can do this it's very simple just follow the steps and i know you'll be on your way to designing a good fiverr image for your gig thank you guys remember to subscribe and see you next time